We will start with a project that already has the DEM, land use, and soil data loaded into WMS. First we will need to join the soils database file to the shape file table. We will then create the soils and land use coverages. and map the shape files to the coverages. We will then use topaz to compute the flow directions and accumulations. We will create an outlet point and delineate a watershed. We will then use WMS to compute the composite curve number for our watershed using the soils and land use data. Next we will switch to the HMS model and set up the job control. We will then set the meteorological model to be type 2 storm with 1.8 inches of precipitation. We will set the basin up to use the SCS loss rate method and the SCS transform method. We will use WMS to calculate the lag time for the transformation. We will then save the HMS file. And then open HEC HMS where the model will be run. We will now subdivide the watershed into three basins. We will recompute the composite curve numbers. We will then assign the loss rate and transform parameters for the sub-basins. Next we will set up the routing parameters at the outlets of the two upstream sub-basins. We will then save the HMS file. And then open HEC HMS where the model will be run. Notice that the peak flow for the sub-basin model is higher than the single basin peak flow. We will then add a reservoir at the outlet of the upper left sub-basin. We will enter an initial elevation for the reservoir 
and paste in elevation storage discharge data from a spreadsheet. We'll then save the HMS file. And then open HEC HMS where the model will be run. Notice that adding the reservoir decreased the peak flow by about 250 CFS. This concludes the HMS interface in WMS video.